Hello everyone and welcome back to Neoberg. Last time we actually hooked up our area over here where um, we've got this uh, interlinking station near Halsham and Southwold. Um, so that connects through to these stations and also we've got a uh, station up here which connects to things so that's what we've been doing in the past couple of episodes however we need to get back to the Hailsham Horn cargo interlink st uh, station and um, connect it through from here to the various areas that we want to connect it through to so I want to connect it up down here over here and maybe even take it through down to the um, Shilden uh, connection down here as well. Um, so that would be a huge undertaking. Um, and truth be told, it's going to be a little bit tricky where the um, road is here and uh, this uh, tools factory so close to the water and things. But we'll give it our best shot. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to start off by putting in a station down here. I don't know whether we should uh, potentially try um, sort of a four connection and then have two lanes to go to either of these, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, so we'll try it with just two and we'll expand this a fair bit so that hopefully it will reach both of these um, factories. We'll just have to remove this road for the time being, which is fine by me because it was kind of in the way anyway. <laughs> so then we'll connect up these sides. And this would be going into a tunnel here, hopefully. How far down do we have to go to get to a tunnel there? pretty far down considering we probably want it to connect in up here. How does that look? Actually, that works fairly well because it avoids the actual... Um, farm here. Actual factual farm real thing. Um, so hopefully we should be able to connect both of these up to that train line without any issues. So we'll have um, a box car, flat car and tank car at least coming through this way. And we'll probably also have gondolas taking stuff down for the uh, food refinery, uh, the food refinery, <laughs> the food processing plant and also the um, uh, stone, um, the, my brain has completely gone blank, um, <laughs> the, uh, construction materials plant, there we go, got there in the end, so, we'll need to do a, a line through up to here, uh, probably do, Probably just one connecting road should be fine. So we'll take out this bit, and this bit, and then we'll connect.
So hopefully, if this is roughly in the middle, it should be close enough for these to connect in. That is the hope, at least. I don't think it'll connect to this, which is the only problem. Um, but we should be able to work our way around that. So this would be coming down this way. Potentially connect this up over here. through there. We'll probably need to put some larger bu uh, buildings here. So, we'll go with the... Oh, damn. <laughs> it's a shame you can't just replace them this same window. Do something like that. We've got a road down here. in quite nicely there. That connects in down there. So that's those two connected up really well. I'm quite happy with that actually. Do a similar thing here as we've done before. Oops. And then we can continue this round. So it may look a little bit <laughs> convoluted, but it works well. And it means that everything's connected in. Now on this side, hopefully, oh wow, that goes really far down. It's quite a hill there. Um, Cool, that connects in that side. do not think this side's going to connect in, unfortunately. But we can do some sort of connection there to bring down the logs and take back the planks. So that's not a worry of mine. Um, 
that's connected in, which is awesome. Uh, are we going to be able to connect in down here? We might have to like remove some of this road. So if we try threading the needle here, so to speak, and put in, oh, look at this, a station there. Then hopefully we can do two out this way. I don't know if it's going to be able to connect up down that way, which is the only problem. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. Okay. That's pretty awesome. So we should be able to just do a road here, which this then connects into. up again so that will connect in the bricks here the only problem is now the uh, ferry the uh, boat is actually completely disconnected um, which shouldn't be too much of an issue if we can come across to this station here uh, what we potentially could do as well is set up a connection down to Winsford from here more directly. Um, so let's just see whether we can actually connect that across. What happens if we take train line across? keeping it flat. I mean, can we actually take it up to here? That's more or less what we want, except the uh, the road would be the station. So that actually works. Uh, okay. This is probably the first time we've actually adapted this train station in... I don't know how long. But it will be a really good change. And hopefully... Allow a lot more stuff through this way. So we'll just put that in for now, as that is. Uh, let's take out this road. And let's take out this section as well because it's getting in the way. actually blocked off this road <laughs> this connection through so if we just do that connected in there with the nice new bridge That works really well.
connect that through that way. Right, so we have a connection through now. Uh, we could even connect up this under side through to here. And then what we potentially could do is go across and do a station up here, maybe even a through line up to um, Coulsdon. That would be quite a, uh, a very long line. But this could potentially connect in Shildon. And um, I mean, is this fairly flat? It is actually fairly flat. So what we could do here is put in a train station down here. Blech. If the game is going to work with me on it. So this potentially connects up this side. To that train line as well. Would probably be best just doing a road straight down from here really there we go is a huge connection through. I did not <laughs> I did not really think it would go all the way through to here, but it works, so it makes sense to put it in. This is a huge connection through. It really is. It also allows us to connect up Tring with cargo. Any cargo that it has need of, we can connect that in. Excuse me. Same as Shielden, we can connect that in from here. So that's really good. Hopefully, it would also reduce um, the need for these uh, lines through here. I mean, we do have the boat line coming down, so there isn't really much we can do about that. We could possibly connect it up to this one. Um, but to be honest, I'd rather have a train line connecting up from the other side which we will probably be doing next uh, episode but yeah for this one this is pretty much all sorted now um, 
So we're doing a new line. We might as well start it from this side, considering it's got to go quite a distance. Um, so we'll go through all of these up to there. And then we'll probably have it continue through on the other side as well. So this will be a very busy train line. Um, I don't know what to do about this. Maybe we have connections between, at least it connects there. So we could just do a connection backwards and forwards there. We've got the steel going through up to here still, which is really interesting considering that's probably just coming through from the train line. Um, so we need to remove that really from this side. Uh, so if we remove number three and number four, or what was number four, I should say, and then that'll be there to there. And then if we just do it to here instead, And then we've got the machines line, which is going down to here. This is redundant now. It's no longer needed. So we can get rid of that one. From Tring, considering we're putting in a train line that will do the job anyway. I mean, if we try it on this side, does it connect? No, it gets to like here, which to be fair is a lot closer than I anticipated it would. So we might be able to make it work. Maybe if we did Road straight up and then through. Let's just lower it a little bit so that it goes into a bit of a tunnel. And then, ah, oh, that actually connects. I don't believe it. Um, that's quite surprising. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll do a road there and then that can be connected in that doesn't need this although we do want to bring down stuff for that um, we can just park these we don't need them that means we don't need any of this either which is pretty crazy that's a huge difference uh, we won't need this either. In fact, is this, no, it's not currently connected up to anything. So then we can do a bit more of a direct route through. Not that it makes any difference. And there we go. I can't believe we were able to connect that one in. That's pretty astounding to me. Um, that's pretty remarkable. And we've been able to connect in this tool station up here, which we haven't been able to for ages. An absolute age. Ah. Right, that's going to cause a bit of an issue with that line. It's fine. We'll be sorting it out soon.
Right. This is working its way through. I find it pretty crazy that we've been able to connect this in without affecting that um, farm down here <laughs> or any of this. Like, it's all just connected in really well, um, which is quite surprising, quite frankly. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going to uh, leave this one here. We've managed to connect in a hell of a line here that will <laughs> really connect up a lot of the cities that we haven't been able to um, properly connect in up till now. Um, to be honest with you, what would probably be quite good is to do um, a connection off to West Ham and uh, Winsford separately. So maybe we could use this um, connection that we just put in here to actually bring through uh, stuff for Winsford and then send stuff across the river. So that could be an interesting little option because this line, this Winsford line, is uh, really struggling. Um, if we check out the cargo layer, uh, certain areas are not going to be getting any of their stuff because it's all on one line and it's all dependent on the previous stuff um, not taking all the goods um, so to speak so this is going through to multiple different places um, I don't know whether these still have any cargo on them at this point uh, these have some things, but whether it's actually making its way through to where it needs to is another matter entirely. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to leave this one here. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think with your thumbs. This has been quite an interesting little uh, threading the needle operation <laughs> to get everything in where it needs to go. Um but yeah, let me know what you think with your thumbs. If your thumbs don't cut it, then let me know with a comment. But as always, have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Bye.